Hi friends, in this video let's discuss about component interaction. It's like how we can pass the data from parent component to the child component. Let's see in this video. So initially what I'll do is I'll create a new component inside this project. That is my project. Make sure that you are inside this project. If you're not inside this project, just navigate to insert this project. By using PWD, you can observe that I am inside my Angular, my project. This is my project folder. If you are inside the project folder, then only Angular CLI commands will work. So what we will do is to create a component, let's use the command ng generate, g for generate, c for component. Let's name the component as test component for example. So ng gc test. Now if I click on enter, you can observe that following files will be generated by Angular CLI for us. This will be like skeleton for us and we can modify these files easily instead of creating one by one. So if you observe inside app we have test folder being getting created and inside test folder we have test component.css, test component.html, spec and test component.ts. So these files are generated by angular CLI for us. So what we will do is let us treat this test as a child component and app component as a parent component. So inside the parent component, let us create a property here inside the app component class. For example, public name equals, for example, Harsha, okay. I am creating a name property here. Now what I will do is, I want to access this property value inside my child component. How we can interact from parent component to child component, let us see in this video. So this property, what I will do is, I need to export this property to the child component. How can I do that is by going to app.component.html. Here we have app-test. If you observe here app-test is the selector which is specified for test component. If you observe test.component.ts, app-test is a selector. So what will happen if I use the same name, same directive that is app-test, we can pass the data from our parent component to the child component by specifying the selector name here. This selector name is, a, is specified inside the child component that is test.component.ts. Test so I am using same name here and followed by I need to specify inside the square brace some name for the data which I want to pass from parent to child. For example, I am specifying as parent name that is equals to the name of the property which I want to pass. Here I have taken name as the property name inside the app component class. So this property I want to send to the child component from this app component that is a parent component. So what we will do is app.component.html we need to specify some name here. Just for our understanding we are giving as parent name. We can specify anything here just to identify that this name comes from the parent component. So this property name we need to specify in, insert the double quote. Okay, let us save the changes. Now from parent I am passing this property. I need to access this property from child right. So what I need to do next is I need to go to test.component.ts which has been generated by our angular CLI. I will open this. If you observe here the selector is having the same name which I am passing data here app hyphen test in the parent component. So this matches. Now what I will do is I need to use at the rate input and inside the brace I need to pass the name of the name of the property which I am going to pass from the parent component. This I have this name I am taking the property from app component.ts. This is the property name and I am assigning this to parent name. This is like a messenger. This will pass from parent to child. So we need to pass this name inside this brace. So inside double uh, insert single quote we need to pass the name of it that is parent name which I have specified inside the parent class that is app.component.html. So the same name we need to pass here. And we need to specify child name for this. Child name is that is test component property name for this by specifying public of name. 
okay so what does this indicate is i am getting input that is parent name from the parent class that is app hyphen test using this selector i am getting this that is name property from the parent class this value will be fetched from the parent class to the child test component class it will come here by accessing using this key that is parent name and i am accessing this and assigning to our own variable here our own property here inside our child component here name is a child component child component property is name here but here this name which we are passing from parent is name name equals value this value this value i am getting here by using at the right input parent name public of name okay name now i want to display this value inside our child component for that what we will do we need to access test dot component dot html this is where we are writing the html content right template url points to test dot component dot html so what we will do is we will use this property which we are getting the value from the parent and we will display inside the test component dot html let us open test component dot html here what we will do is we will take header for example h2 and using double curly brace that is interpolation concept we will write inside some string value for example welcome followed by plus name name is the property that is test component dot ts we are specifying this property and we are getting the value for this from the parent component parent name so that name we are assigning to our child component property and we are displaying here okay let's save these changes let's use the command npm space start okay this will internally call ng serve it's getting compiled now now if you observe the web page now if you observe the web page you can clearly see that welcome is a string which we are passing from the child component and harsha is a value which we are getting from the parent component see if you observe here welcome is a string which we are passing inside test component dot html and name is the value which we are getting from that is interpolation concept that is data binding right from the app component class property i am accessing to the html content that is template is called as data binding right so here i am accessing the html content name but this name value where we are fetching we are not specifying here name equals we are not passing as va value harsha here but we are passing the value harsha inside the parent component parent component is app dot component dot ts here we are specifying property name that is equals to harsha and this value we are passing through this key that is parent name with square braces it is equals to name of this property name of this property is name app component property so name we are passing here so that this key we can use inside the child component by passing at the right input child component this key we are using here and we are assigning to our own child property as name here okay if you want if you are getting confused whether it's coming from here or there what we'll do is we'll just change the name of this child name okay and here test.component.html what i am going to do i am going to use child name okay save these changes now if you observe the web page still you can see the same value this is a string value which we are getting from the child component and harsha is the value which we are getting from the parent component this is how we are fetching the data to the our child component from the parent component this is also called as component interaction where where we are getting the value from the parent component to the child component thank you so much for watching this video guys please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos